top and bottom. Mozzarella fella. We locked in, baby. I just blew a bag. You may know me from the Grammy nominated Black Panther soundtrack, top of the sleepwalking that was also inserted in a movie. Pull for wacky vision, sleepwalking. Pull for wacky vision, cloudy sleepwalking. At Thug Mansion, Ty Dollar Sign, YG. You might know me from that shout out that Kendrick Lamar gave at the Grammys. Yeah, got up top, huh? Last regular job. Togos, I think I was 18, just got out the county. Probation on my linear. They like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get a job, do something, go to school, anything in that nature. Locked in with one of the primos, Mexican homie, fella fella. Shout out Relly Real. He threw me the alley oop. His brother was the manager at Togos. I went in there, green shirt. He locked me in same day. I get to work and I'm cooked up severe, you feel me? Uh, we eat sandwiches, I'm prepping, avocado game, brazy. You know, I was whipping. My, you know, do sandwiches here and there, I might hit the flow, sweep. I mean, like, I got a program. My program's sturdy, it's consistent. Everybody cool with it, everybody agree with it. They like, nah, no program. You finna watch these toilets, you finna do these dishes back here. Your whole playbook is in the back of the store. I'm like, I'm not too fond of doing all that. I call Grams, Grams, they ain't new management up here. He fake way tweaking. I'm smoothie. I'm finna quit. She like, don't quit. I'm like, all right, I try to go in there, run the play. It was still spunky. He was tripping. He was, he was serious about them toilets. I was serious about not cleaning them. So, uh, you know, I took my little apron off, told him I'm, I'm up out of here and wiggle immediately and never double back. Rap came early on. I've been rapping since I was like 16. I ain't know how real it was. I was just rapping, trying to get famous. At the time, it wasn't no um, internet and, you know, it wasn't no social media. So everything was hands on. My pivotal moment was when I went to uh, Kansas City. Killer City, the illest city. That's off the dribble. Shout out to Lil Blood. He was calling me. He was on my bumper. He like, bro, they got a bag for you out here. 25 for a show. I think he got like five bands for a little fake EP or something. That's a seven band play. Pull up. Blow down. I'm like, I ain't really want a chance that I just got out of jail. Just came home from San Quentin. I was, you know what I'm saying, I was pump faking on him. My gangland wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to just blast the killer city to the necklace. I wasn't feeling it, but he kept applying pressure. I really don't want to take the violation. He like, you ain't gonna take the violation for the 10 piece? You playing. You gonna take the violation for hanging out with a gang member, but you ain't finna take it for the 10? I'm like, all right, book the flight. Straight up, it made sense. Everything he just said made sense. I hop on a flight, I sky up, land in killer city. They gave me 25 for the show, the whole show. Then they gave me 5K for a deposit on a uh, project. Another 5K when I'm done. 12, 15,000. Feel me off off some rap. It's it's the life. That's what we doing. So from there on, it's I've been I've been applying pressure. Or I think I get my first rap check at like 26 or something like that. The Kansas City show. So when I got home, I restructured it and I made sure that the price was right. I wasn't taking anything for you know what I'm saying my verses for a show. You had to come with a respectable number. I just watched myself elevate from there. First big check. Of course, we're gonna have to go with the Emberly. A million. Shout out to Empire. Gave me the whole M. Like the whole thing. Not 750 and we owe you 350 or 350 into the uh, market and the whole Emberly. You feel me? So I remember when we just walking into that deal and constructing that deal, it was already crazy. I'm like, oh, we finna go in there and ask for that. Empire like family. So, you know, it was already hints that. We'll give you whatever you want, bro, how you want to do it. So it was already, you know what I mean? But I just didn't believe it. I didn't believe a whole M. So walking, doing, holding that meeting, I was ecstatic. Calling around, I told Grams, we got the M, baby. It's on the way. It's on the way, way. All the whole gang knew. Couldn't keep it a secret. You feel me? It's we the M. I mean, we from the trenches. I was holding on to it because I knew taxes was real. And they doubled back on me too. Oh. But not a meal. It was that that's that was the big check. I couldn't sleep. It was a countdown. I was waiting on it like a day. 
when it landed, I didn't believe it till I walked into that bank and they started treating me with respect. You hear me? <laughs> Grams. I owed her bail money. I done ran up in her purse so many times just to go get a two for 15 so I could write a rap and get us out the trenches. I done ran through leather coats. So you know, I was in debt with her heavily and she ain't really splurged on me like that. She made me work for everything. And that's, that's probably why I am like I am dope. And I appreciate her, beyond appreciative for it. But also seeing growing up, like shout out Lil Darrell. His dad had a bag. Splurging, young boy, 15, pager, box shelf on D's, living a life, you feel me? And uh, that's how I wanted to live. When I was a kid, I always wish I had that. And now I got the opportunity to do that for mines. Before I even got the million dollar deal, I stacked up uh, 50K, gave it to Grimms, told her to hold it. Went back to the trenches, ran up another 50 piece, gave it to Grimms, told her to hold it. Double back on her with another 50 piece. She like, hold on, you tripping. Like, I can't hold all this money in here. It's you tripping. I'm like, I ain't got nowhere to put it. Put it in the bank. I can't put it in the bank. The IRS gonna take it. You feel me? They gonna account for it. I, I can't put it in the bank. Well, you need to find somewhere to put it. She was tripping and she was adamant. And I'm like, all right, just hold this for me. Let me get it together. I double back. I double back, came to pick it up. I just came to pick up 50. She like, uh, you sure you don't need the other one? The honey? Nah, I'm smooth. That's you. What you mean that's me? That's you. Go ahead. You sure? Man, that's you. Whatever you feel you want to do with that, that's you. So I'm talking about be I didn't even get to enjoy my first 100K. I just gave it to Grams. Ran up another 50 pop. Came to get the other 50 pop from her. And then I just, I moved to L.A. with the 50 pop and went up, feel me, skyrocket. That was off the dribble, gave her the 100K off the dribble. It's unconditional, it's, I, I, I'm I, still, I'm, I'm forever in debt, I couldn't pay her back. And then, you know, birthdays, bought her the Range Rover, pink slip, she bought some more property. <laughs> <laughs> the most I ever spent was on tour. I think we burned like a real counter probably Probably like 30 people, all males, African-American males with felonies. <laughs> all of them. Some of them on the run, probation, parole. Most money was spent on tour. The Sprinter van's going crazy. You need about two of them, we 30 deep. And you need about two rentals. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't like to ride in a Sprinter. You got merch with you. So you probably be two rentals deep. Hotels, hotel fees, slimy. Especially when you at a, like a prestigious hotel or a dope hotel and they got golf carts and everybody jump on the golf carts with Nerf guns, knocking on each other, wrecking golf carts. Yeah, about four, five golf carts wrecked. I'm talking about total, not even wrecked them. We totaled them. Out of all 30 people, everybody smokes. Liquor stores and gas stations hit us about 2,500 a stop. You know, it's big backwoods and snacks and gas and it's everything, toothbrushes and little hygienes and things. Cheesecake Factory. Everybody ordering shrimp Alfredo. Okay, so it's shrimp Alfredo. That's $60 a plate, 60 times 30. You know what I'm saying? We did that about four, five times on tour. Easy. Hotel fees. You, you tell them don't smoke up in there. They big, big clouds. Dope smoke. A blowing clouds in there. Candy. Tour life crazy. You ain't, I ain't even make no money that tour. Straight up, but I had fun. I enjoyed it. It's an opportunity to bring the young wife on tour, get them out the trenches, and you know, let them see the world. And it was dope. Oh, Tom Bodich, you know I'm finna drop that internal affairs. Internal affairs. That's going upwards. I'll probably double back with another project immediately. I'm just staying consistent. Running up my bag, we still independent. Rest in peace, Nip. The marathon continues. We're gonna keep blowing these bags, you hear me? We're gonna keep blowing through these bags. Living life, love life, live holy. Locked in with the fella, fella Mozzie. We just blew a bag. <laughs>